Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you the first Monday in July. We've been gone for a week now, and we're back. So let's dive right into this. Uh, as we talked about at the open last night, our opening gambit here is short Aussie. I won't dilly-dally around with this. Um, this is my second video this morning. So the first one was a bit of a botch. So uh, let me just quickly go over what's going on here. Short Aussie is our opening gambit. Like a lot of the yen crosses and dollar yen, uh, it looks like this is by the rumor, so the fact after the trade deal and after the Chinese data, which was not by the rumor, so the fact, it's just by the fact Chinese data sucks. Aussie should suffer. Combine this with the big up move here, big short squeeze here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine up days in a row. Unusual pattern there uh, in the Aussie. We like this lower today. Quickly on the stock side, let's go to these four hourly charts. They tell a good story. Swiss yen. 110.80, the high, now back, 110.20. Euro yen, 123.40, the high, now 122.64. Dollar yen, same type of turn bar, not as strong. Looks like what ha what's happening here is the market is getting caught short dollars. We're back down through the 200 day in Euro, um, 113.43. We've now touched the low of 21. Looks like first move here in Europe uh, is just to smash through through a few dollars here. Um, and there's no reason that this doesn't continue. Um, with the worst case scenario trade war uh, out the window, the market has less reason here to be short dollars um, and might get caught long bonds as well. It's going to be tough um, going into the July meeting. People are now pricing in a 50-point cut. Uh, just looks real tough now with the stocks at all-time highs. Um, unemployment where it is. Oil now, which is an inflation component, back, uh, back up at 60 bucks. I don't know, market might be getting ahead of itself on this rates call. So we'll be watching that 10-year yield closely. We talked about it two weeks ago. Um, I'll pull it up here. This is the yield. So you sell bonds. You buy yield by selling bonds. For those of you who don't know, um, 207, 2.07% is important now. But for us, we're just going to wait. We're just waiting for 210. As soon as we see 210 in the 10 years, we sell 10-year bonds, September contract. Anyway, that's not close right now. Let's go back to FX. Um, so we have Euro turning, Dollar Swiss turning. Careful now, this is, a, this is up almost three quarters of a percent. There should be some um, sideways action here at around 98, 40, 50. Um, but market is short dollars and getting caught right now. This is a theme you see everywhere. Dollar cat also same theme. Um, it's up 45 pips here. But dollar cat is our least favorite dollar long. Canadian economy uh, is doing just fine. The numbers, at least the numbers are saying it's doing just fine. Oil's at 60 bucks again. Um, so for us, this just gives us an idea that we can probably get a chance to sell dollar cat again between 131.50 and 132. So if your core short is now tradable down here, this looks like it's going to squeeze. It is squeezing as we speak. Um, so this is dollar cad. Cable, uh, we have numbers today. I think we have PMI today out in um, in the UK. Let's just check that. Um, this is a very important point here, 126.60. Um, yeah, manufacturing PMI today. 
mildly important. But let's just keep an eye on this 126.60. This kind of contained it all last week. Um, I can tell you the guys that we met with in London have no idea in cable. There's no strong view. Um, they're both look, you know, the best thing you can do in cable is probably to buy straddle. So it's going to be vol. Could be vol to the downside. Could be vol to the upside. But it looks like the world is underpricing sterling vol at the moment. Um, but it's a little bit complicated for a Twitter uh, for a Twitter vlog. Anyway, let's look at 126.60 today, see how that holds up, see if we get a bad manufacturing PMI, which may drive this thing lower. So if you consider it's sort of stronger dollar as the opening gambit everywhere, 126.60 could be in play. Otherwise, we do have OPEC meetings all day today, and we have U.S. Uh, manufacturing PMI later. Um, We'll see how that goes. Gold, everyone is getting stopped out. All the gold longs are getting stopped. We actually like buying gold at 1360. It's a long way away. Um, but we do like the gold trade higher. We do believe there's going to be volatility coming. It might be this fall. Um, but in the back of our minds and in our trading journal, we have just a just an alert to remind ourselves that we want to be buying gold down at 1360. I don't want to babble on. I've been away for a week. As you all know, um, we are long dollars on the day. and We're going to be trading from that side. Aussie is our horse. So short Aussie dollars, our horse. We'll be watching these stocks, as always, closely. We're at all-time highs. We're close to all-time highs, 77.5, the high last night. Does this gap get filled? Maybe. Uh, it looks like a pretty straightforward play. You can just get short through sort of 65 or 63 for a gap fill down to 52 at some point today. Um, but this is not our focus stocks. Our focus is short Aussie. Anyway, privateer European opening call is back. Uh, I wish you all a very, very profitable day, and I will see you on Twitter later.